Shots ring out in Soulard. What caused someone to fire a gun just outside two popular bars? Boosting security for Illinois commuters, how Metro Transit and St. Clair County officials are joining forces today. Heating up as we head into the weekend, temperatures could approach 100 degrees by next week. We'll show you when this heat is expected to break. One of the busiest boating weekends of the year turns deadly. The reminder from the Lake of the Ozark Safety Council. Coming soon to Chesterfield, we'll give you a first look at the new sports complex set to host hundreds of young hockey and soccer players. This is Today in St. Louis, focused on you. By the way, Doug also bought some slurpees too, <laughs> just to clarify. Good morning, everybody. It is Thursday, July 10th, 11th. I'm Renny Nott. And I'm Michelle Lee. We just want to say thanks for joining us. Uh, you know, and... And we want to say hi to the folks watching on 5 Plus 2. Sorry, I'm all like flabbergasted because I couldn't get out what I wanted to say. Anyway, it's okay, it happens. Today will be a good day to get a Slurpee, a slushy, mm -hmm. or whatever. An ice cream cone. Anthony, we've been talking about the weather impact today. Heat yeah. and humidity. Heat and humidity. And maybe a spot thunderstorm this afternoon. And Paul mentioned a few minutes ago, he said, I like those frozen Snickers. Oh. Yeah, now we're talking. All right, if you are headed out the door, you can see we'll have sunshine today. Warm and humid, 83 by lunchtime. It's this afternoon and evening when we could have an isolated storm. It's going to be hot today up near 90 degrees and staying humid through the weekend. Look at these storms that fired up yesterday north of St. Louis. They did fizzle and fall apart, but what they did is put down an outflow boundary. So now that boundary is over us because of the humid air that fell apart from those storms is still in place. And so we could have a spotty storm later today. We'll range anywhere from 83 in Litchfield today to 88 in Belleville and right about 90 here in St. Louis Metro. But notice those storms dotting the map later on. We'll talk about this round of storms and another round to tomorrow that's coming up in just a few minutes. Let's talk to Paul Cook this morning. Yeah, Snickers. It's on my mind now. Paul, what's going on on the roads? Snickers and Slurpees. Oh my gosh. It's also my sister's birthday. Oh, so yeah. Happy birthday, Shannon. 7-Eleven. I'm going to get her a free Slurpee. <laughs> Don't tell her it's free. Wait, I just said it on TV. Okay, real quick here. We are moving, but you do have closures on ramps. It's only been about a week here, uh, 55 to Graboy. A lot of folks come across the Metro East and they will use that ramp. Don't do it because it's closed and you're going to have to pass it, which is okay. We've been talking about that. It's okay when you got to pass your exit and turn back around. Don't make a sudden uh, turn just because it's right there. We'll have another take of traffic coming your way very soon much, Paul. All right, well, just hours ago, shots were fired in Soulard, leaving at least one man injured. Now, it happened while many people were still hanging out in a popular business district. Our Travis Cummings is live for us this morning in downtown St. Louis to tell us how everything unfolded. Travis? Good morning, Michelle and Rennie. That's right. Right now we are live outside of St. Louis Police Headquarters where investigators are looking into this latest incident. It happened just before midnight and a day after a rolling shootout in that same neighborhood. And that was all caught on camera. Take a look at this map here just so we can set the scene for you of where the incident happened last night exactly. It happened around 1130 at South 9th Street and Geyer Avenue near the 1860 Saloon and Molly's Restaurant and Bar. Keep in mind, these are two very popular establishments. Police say a man between 40 and 50 years old was shot twice in his leg. He was taken to an area hospital and is expected to recover. Officers were able to quickly take another man into custody. They say the shooting stemmed from an argument inside a bar. And it comes just days after another scary incident in Soulard that was caught on camera. And there you're hearing multiple gunshots ringing out during a rolling gun battle between two cars. Surveillance cameras caught the crime just before 6 p.m. Tuesday near South 7th Street and Russell Avenue. Police found numerous shell casings blocks away at South 9th Street and Ann Avenue close by there. Neighbors tell us they're shaken up by all of this, with some mistaking the gunfire for fireworks. And people living in Soulard are encouraged to check their surveillance cameras just in case they have any footage that might be useful to police at this time. Coming up in the next half hour, I'm going to break down some of the crime stats and we're going to look at that by neighborhood. We're live in downtown St. Louis. Travis Cummings, five on your side. Thank you, Travis.
Now, this latest shooting comes after a violent 4th of July weekend. And now city leaders are sitting down with downtown business owners to talk about some safety plans. Some business owners brought up seeing a lack of police that night, but police are saying officers were downtown, both in plain clothes and in uniform. Matt Ratz, the owner of Ucraft, who you just saw there, says they recently invested nearly a million dollars in their downtown location before it was damaged in the chaos. And his worries are that people are too afraid to come downtown. I just want to see a plan and stick to the plan um, and not just talk. Let's have some actions behind it. And again, I, it does. It comes down to police presence. We have to have more. I mean, it's just plain and simple. Um, you know, that, that's what we need. Mayor Tashara Jones's office has reached out to Ras to set up a meeting to talk about safety plans moving forward. Citizens for a Greater St. Louis are also joining in on the conversation. The group released this statement calling out city leaders saying instead of working with downtown residents and small businesses, the mayor and police chief hold carefully scripted press conferences with big business leaders at their side who announce new slogans and tell us all will be fine. Right now, the Afton community is grieving after the sudden death of a fire chief. The Afton Fire Protection District tells five on your side, Fire Captain James Kova died while on duty from cardiac arrest. He had been with the district for 23 years. We'll update you with information about the memorial once plans are finalized. Starting today, the partnership between Metro East Law Enforcement and Metro Transit will be stronger with the opening of a new public safety building in East St. Louis. The $15 million facility is an addition to the Emerson Park Transit Center and will house the St. Clair County Sheriff's Department and other public safety partners. The ribbon cutting is at uh, 11 o'clock this morning. It is going to be another hot weekend, folks, and a lot of people in the area will hop on boats or spend some time swimming. After the break, some important reminders after a holiday weekend water accident turned deadly. Well, if you are headed outside at any point today, it is humid already. Numbers climbing out of the 60s quickly. We'll be up near 90 this afternoon and a chance of a spot thunderstorm possible later on today.